everybody. This is Brian again. Wanted to show you the uh, the clover that's growing out here in the yard now, just to give you an idea of what our yard turns into. You can see all the clover is sprouted, so it's going to be a nice little clover patch all up in our yard, out into here. Oh, there goes a robin. You can see it's all sprouting inside the uh, the cover crop in the garden boxes there, all throughout the uh, the lawn area gonna have that nice clover growing. You can see it over there sprouting. None of the peas have sprouted yet that I've noticed. I try not to walk on this clover when it's this small. Just so that way it can get a nice uh, nice bit of growth before any kind of traffic on it. Though our dogs do walk on it. But that's about it. Nothing too exciting happening out here. You can see the uh, summer plant, summer uh, spring bulbs. They're starting to bloom. And the uh, raspberries are starting to bloom over there. Put out their leaves up through that area. A little bird hanging out in the goji bush. Nothing too exciting happening yet in our yard. But I wanted to give you guys an update so that way you could see. Let's see if we can peek over there and see if there's any peas coming up. I don't see any yet. Cover crop's coming in nice though. That's good. I do love this clover. It's so nice, especially when it starts to, to bloom. And you get that nice pollinator patch right in this area. It draws all the pollinators right in through all of the gardens because that's strategic placement. If you put this here, you get all the bees coming into this spot. And while they're coming through, they have to cross through all the garden boxes. And while they're coming through the garden boxes, they may just stop and decide to, you know, suck up some of the pollen that's uh, available on those. So it helps get your uh, pollinators drawn in to a nice feeding area. And then on their way in, their way in, they also stop and help pollinate all your garden boxes. Win-win. And all the the blooming trees. So, you know, because that's that's one of our plum trees there, there, and then a apricot tree over there. You can see our almond trees are blooming. So we're starting to bring in the, the bumblebees. I saw them coming in uh, this weekend. This is the time of year I love when everything starts to come back to life in your yard. All the birds start showing up to feed. All the bees are showing up. Everything starts to bloom and come alive. That's the best part I have in this kind of a yard. Is you get to see it all come back year after year. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of the backyard update for the little urban homestead here in the Pacific Northwest. All right, talk to you again. Bye.